When new Live at 5, EPA crews today adding more dirt into this landfill in St. Clair County that is still burning. Unbelievable, right? Well, they're working to put this monster out, and we're on your side taking a closer look at who's paying for all of this. Our Bria Chapman is live at 5 on your side getting us this update. Bria, what can you tell us? Yes, Sarah. So the EPA tells me that they are on scene, like you mentioned, right now, and they plan to check the site out every week. Now, currently, they've spent over $2 million so far on site, and that number will continue to increase. And they say this that is because it is continuing to burn. Now, earlier this year, they came in and covered the site with clay and dirt. We all remember that, and for the most part, they smothered the fire. But it continues to burn underground, and anytime oxygen gets down there, those nasty smells and smoke start coming out. An on scene EPA coordinator tells me with so much dry weather this summer, it only made things worse at the landfill. Now they're hoping for a wet winter to help out, and in the meantime, they're still paying for the cleanup, but they plan to get their money back. We do have a um, an enforcement policy and procedure where um, you know, there's every attempt to recover the funds spent, um, you know, you know, you know, from the responsible parties. And that process is continuing and right now. Um, it's being funded through EPA's budget. Yeah, now the landfill remains a part of the EPA's emergency response and removal program. That's one of their short-term programs up under the Superfund for immediate threats to human health and the environment. Reporting live in Birmingham, I'm Bria Chapman, WBRC, Fox 6 News on your side.